started teaching myself at 15 and a half. That's when I got into it, okay? So all you people saying, Wow, I got my aerial and I'm like nine. Well, I never had an interest in doing aerials when I was nine. I didn't care. I didn't want to do cartwheels. I didn't, I didn't want to do any of this stuff. It was when I was literally 15 and a half that I was like, hmm, I want to start learning this. I was late, all right? So cut me some slack, seriously. Let's chat. Hey guys, welcome back to Lids Chat. If you're new, make sure to hit the big red button down below and let's get started with this video. For those of you who are new, Lids Chat is just the part of the week, and I upload three times a week, um, where I can just to sit down and be real with you guys. I feel like a lot of YouTubers, just in general, have this tendency to be fake in front of the camera. I wanna be real with you guys, okay? Um, I don't want to be this fake YouTuber who's always smiling and laughing and just like putting on this forced happiness. I want to show you guys that I am uh, literally happy and I'm not faking, I'm not putting it on, but I'm also real and I can talk about serious topics without being a complete ditz about it. Lids Chat is sectioned off into three different sections, the life, the love, and the laughter. Um, cause I, those things are important and you want to mesh them together. So yeah, that's what I am doing. Really quick, a lot of people have been asking me when I'm going to check my P.O. box again. I haven't done it in weeks. I need to do it and I usually open my packages on the lids chat ever since I started doing these videos. Haven't checked it recently though so I don't have any mail to open. A lot of you know that Thursday was my birthday and it feels weird for me to say that because it's Thursday right now and I just got back from my dad taking out me out to lunch. You guys would know this if you followed my Instagram, which is kittygym101, and my Snapchat, which is also kittygym101. If you guys are interested in following me, do so down below. I want to try and get to 10,000 followers on Instagram for 2017. That would be so cool. There is a plastic Walmart bag rolling around in our front yard. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, you guys would know that it was my birthday Thursday. But it's Friday when I'm uploading this video because I have to upload overnight. <laughs> yeah. Usually I pick a topic that has really been weighing on my mind. This week, something that I was talking with my dad about is people holding you at a high standard and you not being able to add up. And when you don't add up to it, people get hurt feelings. Remember that just because we are YouTubers and we're supposedly popular and famous because we have more followers than you do or than your friend does, that doesn't mean that we're any less human. That doesn't mean we're special. We just happen to have YouTube channels that people enjoy watching. It's just topics that people like. Nobody's perfect, okay? Nobody's gonna not be a jerk sometimes. Nobody's gonna be nice all the time or be happy all the time. People are human. They're gonna have the parts, times of their life where they're gonna break down and cry, where they're going to be so happy they're annoying, they're gonna be tired. Everyone kinda has like the same version of popularity. Like what I mean by that is that everyone kinda agrees that when you're popular it means you have a lot of followers and a lot of people like you. If that is the case, then people can lose their popularity very easily. They do one thing wrong and it completely ruins them. They delete their social media, they delete their YouTube channel, they stop uploading for a long time, and then they come back and it's just not the same. I'm going to mess up. I can honestly tell you guys that. I've already messed up sometimes. Granted, they're technically small mess ups, but so far I've never done anything that is gonna ruin my reputation. And that's one thing I don't wanna do. And I want people to be aware that if I do mess up, to give me the benefit of the doubt. Because I'm not gonna just go and try and ruin myself. I mean, people just don't do that. People are gonna make mistakes and then they're gonna feel bad about those mistakes and they're gonna be like, okay, I'm sorry, please give me another chance. But by that time, all of these rumors have been spread and they're like, oh, don't follow this YouTuber, you know, shun this YouTuber just go and hate on them, destroy this person. We want them to complete, completely mutilated and just everything be taken away from them. And that's literally happened to YouTubers. 
I want this to be an open chat. I want this to be an open comment section. I don't disable comments if I can help it. I don't I haven't disabled comments on any of my videos, and I haven't disabled the like and hate ratio, the little thumbs up and thumbs down thing. Never done that, because I know that when I upload a video and I put my opinion out there, that people have the right to get on there and hate on me and just be rude about it. Hey, you have the right to do that, okay? I don't agree with it, I don't endorse that, and I'm not gonna do it. But if you want to go out there and look like a complete and utter jerk, you can do that. Other people are going to get on and then they're going to reply to you with their opinion. So, I mean, you're going to get what you dish out. Yeah, this is probably one of my most depressing videos ever. <laughs> I have talked enough. Um, yes, this video was kind of depressing, but I just want people to know that I'm going to fail and I'm going to say the wrong things. Just remember that I am not going to be purposely mean to anyone. I am getting so many birthday wishes. Thank you guys so much. Now it is time for my favorite part of the video, which is, I say favorite part, I like the whole part of Liz Chat. I just love doing Liz Chat. This, I can be real. I can sit in front of the camera. I can just chill. I'm not hurting myself. I'm not falling down or anything. I'm not messing up on skills. Um, it's just, it's very relaxing. It's a good break for me. So now I'm going to be doing the reaction part of the video. Okay, this is from Kirstein Cultura. She said, Lydia, you should react to Trump Sings Closer by Chainsmokers. So apparently they've edited it so that it sounds like he's singing it. This will most likely go copyrighted. I just want it to be a friendly situation, if possible. I don't know that that's possible. I mean, I've seen He's friends so that get divorced. You know, you see them six months later, and it's like cats and dogs, and you understand them. Hey! I was doing just fine before I met you. I drink too much, and that's an issue. But I'm not okay. Hey! <laughs> Tell your friends it was nice to meet them. But I <laughs> hope I never see them again. I know it breaks your heart. <laughs> Moved to the city in a broke down car and four years. No call. Now you're looking pretty in a hotel <laughs> bar and I, 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 I die. Can't stop. No die. I, I, I die. Can't stop. So maybe pull me closer <laughs> in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't <laughs> afford. Buy that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole from your roommate back in Boulder. You've <laughs> ever getting older. <laughs> we may ever getting older. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was hilarious. Thank you, Kirsten Cultura. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I completely forgot that I'm supposed to answer comments, obviously. 2004, AG Dollies asked Suplid, how long did it take you to get your back handspring perfected? Never stop improving, okay? You never do, honestly. Your skill can only get better. Silly Lily 0103 asks Suplid, what's your favorite slash scariest skill to do on bars? By the way, I love you. Thank you. Love you too. I like pullovers, honestly. To just be able to pull yourself off the ground is so exciting. The back hip circles are fun too. Curious skill would have to be a shoot through at this point, and I still don't have it. I'm just really scared to do it. Fun gymnast asked Suplid, what kind of job do you want when you're older? Well, I'm already old. I'm already an adult, you know. So I'm trying to get a job. Uh, teaching tumbling to five and six year olds. And a lot of you are like, wow, you're self-taught and you're trying to teach people? You're nuts, you need a degree. Well, actually you don't need a degree to be 
a successful teacher and coach because I upload tutorials, you guys know this, and so many people have direct messaged me or commented and told me somehow that my tutorial helped them get their skill. Every other video that they watched never helped them actually get the skill until they watched mine, which tells me I can teach. Um, so for those of you who disagree that I should get a job doing this, can't help you there. I want to give a special shout out to girl.meets.allyraisman because she did this awesome fan edit of me for my birthday. I love that. How do you do that? Inaline, Inaline asks the split, can you do middle splits? And no, I've never been able to do middle splits, no matter how hard I try. The gummy bear asks Suplid, what helped you to get over the fear of back skills? Starting from a back bend. Maybe that was a question. Um, and yes, I started from square one, worked my way from there. Kathy Chang asks Suplid, how did your parents react when you told them you were starting YouTube? Uh, they reacted really positively. I mean, it wasn't like I just jumped in and said, hey, guess what? I'm starting a YouTube channel. I literally went out to the trampoline with my brother. I watched a video of these kids doing their gymnastic skills on a trampoline and just working their way up. And so I filmed this video and we did our skills. It was before I could do a back handspring or any backward skills on the trampoline, so it was all forward skills. And then I edited it with the video editor. Parents weren't there for me, okay? They were very supportive of me from the very beginning. Um, and I didn't let it come in front of my school. That was back when I was doing school. <laughs> That was a long time ago. Uh, so yeah, very positively. I mean, it was actually, I think, my dad's idea. He was like, why don't you upload this to YouTube? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was, I was a go-getter. Still am a go-getter. I'm like, let's do it. This is going to be the last comment. Sorry it's taken so long. Uh, Georgia, the gymnast, those are J's, by the way. There are no G's. Uh, she asked Suplid, how many are in your family? I have two older sisters, one younger brother, and then my mom and my dad. Keep spreading the hashtag GetLid200K. By 2018, if it doesn't happen, doesn't happen, not a big deal, don't care. I really need to stop doing that. It's 2017, isn't the dab dead? I will see you guys in my next Lids chat, which will be next Friday, and then I upload videos on Sundays and Wednesdays as well. So, literally three times a week. <laughs> Why aren't you subscribed yet? <laughs> I work so hard <laughs> for these videos and it's like, where are the people who like watching videos three days a week? That's what I want to know. Three days. People don't even post one day a week anymore. Once they get popular, they're just like, I don't need to keep uploading. Reached my goal. I'm done. And I'm just like, Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I so enjoyed making it. I enjoy making videos for you guys. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!